What's up YouTube? Now, I know I just recently put out a video uh, about Blender and my first impressions, but this will be a, just a small update on that. Now, I know I did mention in the last video that, um, you know, there were some bugs and a couple kinks that need to be worked out for Blender because this is a beta release. It turns out that these bugs are not, uh, you know, they're not really small bugs. They can't just be fixed in a matter of, uh, you know, a couple of days or whatever. They're going to take some time to fix. And I believe the, the real release is going to be out in, um, I think it's mid-2019. I am going to still download the software. I'm going to start from the beta release. And uh, I might just get familiar with the software. And then when the final release comes through, then I'll, I'll download it. Now, why would I get into Blender? Especially since I've invested so much time into um, Autodesk Maya. And the thing is, there are some tools in Blender that I could really take advantage of, especially as somebody who does visual effects as well. I don't just do 3D. Um, you know, my 3D and visual effects workflows, they kind of work together. You know, I can't do my 3D work or I can't do my visual effects work without, um, you know, the 3D elements to really help me uh, create something. And the reason for this is because I like to create animated stuff. So, um, you know, the, the 3D software or the 3D package really helps out with that. So Blender would kind of help me move into this space a lot easier because it has its own compositor. And this is something that is already present. This isn't uh, something that will be added. Uh, it has its own compositor. I think that is probably the biggest selling point for me because being able to composite inside of a 3D application, it's much better than exporting your elements and bringing it back and exporting and just rinse and repeat. That's not something that would, that would make anything um, easier for me. And I also heard that Blender got its own tracker, which would really help with compositing. And uh, usually I would use a third party piece of software in order to kind of bring everything together. Um, I would use, use After Effects to composite my elements. And uh, of course, After Effects has its own like built in tracker. But I would kind of you know, it's, it's not really the best. So I would kind of send my clips off to something like Buju or PF Track to get something pretty nice. And then I'll bring it back into After Effects. So anyway, with Blender, though, I can bypass all this and track within the software, uh, do my modeling and, and scene setup and even some compositing inside the software before exporting it. I know that transitioning is something really difficult, especially with um, you know, especially when, when you've invested so much time into, um, you know, Autodesk Maya. And um, of course, that's still going to be my primary piece of software. But I'm going to need to use a different one for, you know, the, the simpler scenes. Because uh, if you have both, if you if they're going to add an editor to uh, Blender, but if you already have the compositing, and the tracking side of things already inside of the software, I think being able to develop myself in, in um, Blender would actually speed things up for me. So that's just pretty much it. Uh, I just downloaded the software, of course it's free, so. And um, it wasn't a very big file, so it, you know it downloaded instantly. What else? Now I'm gonna get in and start using it right away. So um, you know, stay tuned. And if you guys got any thoughts, leave it down below and I'm out.